Katori. Katori is the entrepreneur and potential entertainment magnet. Ah, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sandrock into the jewel of the desert with my golden goose entertainment extravaganza complex. That's enough. Yeah, took the words right out of my mouth there. It needs better phrasing. Anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. Oh, okay. I'm gonna guess you're like an arcade. Hey, there you are. No, no, show, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? For size, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our town to the ground? Ha 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 ha. Why does it sound like that's happened before? The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely not ask me anything related to the building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. Really? Also, that lamp kind of looks a bit strange to me, I don't know why. So now that you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder, why don't you mosey on over to the si to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda is taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Oh, you haven't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufola Desert. Eufola Desert? Is that from the first game? Because that sounds very familiar to me. Puh, didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? Say, she's been gone for a while. Hel I hope, sure hope she's still alive. Yeah, really? Oh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. Err. He says err a lot. But why would I do that when I could just recycle them to you? No need to thank me. Consider it a new employee bonus thingy. You're not very good at talking to people, are you? Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Yeah, this is a lot like the first game. You make a couple of things, you go back and forth, get the license, uh, meet your rival, we've already met the rival, and take on a few jobs, and start from there, basically. She looks like Esmeral Esmeralda from uh, 100 Notre Dame. Poetry artist and owner of something something, I didn't get to read that. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I am Amara. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at a ceramic gate. I was just rude, bashing into her. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out, so why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. Behold the almighty ceramic bottle? That's a bottle? Oh, okay. Owner of the Blue Moon Saloon. Hey, you're one of the new builders. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. Are you hungry? I have a couple of sample dishes. I know you can work up quite an appetite after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time, I'll be around. I think what I like most about this game, rather than the first, is that they give you stuff when you start off. Leader of the Sandrock Civil Corps. Ah, in the previous one it was... Hamilton? Hamington? You must be one of the new builders. Well, Justice is my name, and Justice is my game. That's right, I'm the law around these parts, head of the civil corps. And in the first game, I was actually dating one of the um, civil corps guys called Arlo. Arlo was a nice guy. Oh. Oh! I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume they're gonna put some voice acting into this. The first game had voice acting, and it kinda looks like these scenes deserve voice acting. Protector of Sandrock, Enforcer of the Church of Light. Oh no, is he a wannabe superhero guy? And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know, the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm, it is decided. I, the magnificent Pen. <laughs> pen? Why the name Pen? The Protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Eh, come on, let's go. Splendid, let's go. Pen, come on. Is this the ho is this the whole play on the pen is mightier than the sword? Is that what it is? You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. 
If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Okay. Oh, wow. See, in the first game, all you had was a sword. Or at least, all I had was a sword. You know, I'll go for the spear because I like to have a bit of reach. To quote uh, another game, she had the reach and I had the flexibility. Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let's see what you can do. Is that all you got? Don't tell me you skip leg day. Endurance low. Yeah, I definitely need some voice content. Try and do a superhero landing on me? Ow! And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess with Pen. I hope you learned something. I sure had fun teaching it. You didn't teach me. Mm. The first thing I would do if I were you is go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Excuse you, I have a name. It is Kata, not skinny arms. So rude. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He talks big. I don't like him. Not interesting cape, by the way. So it's shawl? No, it is a cape. Matilda, minister of the local chapter of the Church of Light. Why, hello there, you must be Kata. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of the Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandra. If you're here, that means you must have passed your little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything else, guys. I'm sorry. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. I'm going to guess that's very expensive. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business at Sandra. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Wow, that was a bit of a tongue twister there. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts of my arithmetic. But I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights. But I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you, you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It won't be the same without you. Yeah, on the first game I had a habit of accidentally missing the meetings. Whoopsie. See you then, and congratulations again, Bill. May you bring Telesis to Sandra. Hey. Ooh, look at all the stuff I get on the left-hand side. Oh, that, again, that is so pretty. I love the skybox in this game. Oh, pretty. Way too pretty. Hello, Amara. Oh, it's... Oh, hello, Mian. Oh, hey, Kenneth. Did you get a message from Mian saying emergency come now as well? Wonder what's the emergency? I was at City Hall. I didn't hear anything about an emergency. The Church of the Light's philosophy is to cherish nature and be Ah, oh, I'm not gonna can read those ones again, am I? Um Uh <laughs> I'm glad in the first game I never saw this kind of thing happen. <laughs> what? Um, so, he's, he's a little bit of a charlatan then. Um, yeah, don't, don't peg this on us. Uh, yeah, we came at a bad time. Wow, I really need to sort that makeup up at some point. I made the makeup way too bright. No, no, you came at the perfect time. Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Euphala Salvage, and he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few months or so. Yeah, really? But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands uh, help out, right? Oh, yeah, sure, that's what we're here for. Did you hear that, Kara? Our first big job. See you there up for it. What do you say, buddy pal? 
the rookie boss of you for the salvage. All right, yeah. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. You shouldn't give him another chance. You shouldn't. I don't think you should. Anyway, great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruin right next to Kata's workshop? My pal here commissioned two craniers to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to and... Hey, I'm not your pal. Okay, Rocky, you're a little bit slow on the uptake there. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. Shouldn't that be shuffled through? Anyway. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there can't miss it. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one week pass. Ah, okay, so it's like the mine system to the first game where you had to pay for it uh, to go in every so often. When you're done, install it for me as well. Q? Why? I'm going to say Q. Q already drew me up a diagram for the lift, so here, you can have it. Hope you put it to the better use than this. Sorry, excuse for a builder here. Wait, Yan was a builder? Ah, okay. My back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to go take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Oh, but I scrapped the furnace I had earlier because it said we couldn't repair it. Well, we can't finish it if we don't get started. Let's do our best, Keller. Okay. Yan, you charlatan. Alright, uh, how do I bring up the map? Oh, easy peasy. Okay, so that's... So it's past my house, fair enough. Why is there a question mark here? Commerce Guild Store? Oh. Right, okay, so let's run because apparently the stamina thing doesn't exist in this game. I th there, there used to be a stamina thing in the old game where um, if you ran for too long, you wouldn't be able to keep running. So it could possibly be changed before the final release. Oh, I don't like that 15 coming up. You can't go in there. Unsir Civil Corps member. Hi, you're the new builder? I'm Unsir. Second or third in command at a civil corps, I'm not really sure. Okay, you should be a bit sure about yourself. We keep the peace around here because if we didn't, things would be a lot less peaceful. Sheriff told me I have to watch this door and make sure no crazy robots get out of the Paradise Lost Hazardous Ruins here behind me. Paradise Lost used to be a shopping mall in the old world, but after the day of calamity, all the robots went crazy. Or was it before? I don't know. I was never good at history. Oh, you want to go in here? I thought you just wanted to chat with me. No, I was heading in, but then you kind of like bashed into me. Well, the lock on this door here is broken, and Justice told me not to let anyone in or out until it's fixed, so sorry. Yeah, probably. The door kind of looks fine to me, but I've got to follow orders. Sheriff Justice has to get an official commission through the city hall. That's just how it is, I guess. So until Justice does the paperwork, I'm sorry to say I can't help you. Yeah, maybe you'll get a commission soon to fix it, but who knows how long that could if I were you, I'd just do other things for a while. I'm sure we'll reopen Paradise Lost when the time is right. I mean, probably. Well, good luck. Hope you're enjoying Sandrock. Wait, really? Really? You're not going to let me in? That's rude. But it also gives me a chance to see if I can make a weapon for myself, because I just remembered I should probably make a weapon. Bricks, wooden sticks, thick rope, copper sticks bearing. Should be on here, right? Crane lift. I'm gonna guess we need a furnace before anything else because we're not gonna be able to make it. I just use the quartz. Okay, guys, don't be like me and actually check what you need for the big jobs first. Ah, that looks good. Bumble ants. Bumble ants. I wanna see how tough you are compared to me. Oh, okay, so you throw honey as an attack. I feel kind of bad killing it. I, I actually feel kind of bad doing that. Alright, let's try again without getting hit. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, I actually feel really bad killing them. I don't I don't like doing that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what's you oh, okay. You you fuck you you okay. You carry on doing that. Okay, so we have a blue mark here and it's really bugging me, so let's go take a look. I'm kinda glad no other trains have come along. I can just imagine another train coming along and I just get bashed by it. Ooh, who are you, Grace? Student cook at the blue moon saloon. Me come, Bray. That's good. We need all the help we can get. I'm Grace. Stop by for a meal at the saloon sometime. I'll do my best to make something edible. Um, I'm not sure if that sounds ominous or not. Open from 7 till 10. What time is it? Oh, it's 10 56. Not enough stamina. Oh, yeah. Sleep is a thing. Let's go to see. Let's see what the inside of the house is like. So in the first game, you had to fix some holes. 